G'day to you. If you're watching this part of the video, um, you're going to be watching a replay of a lunch and learn where I'm going to be talking about how Facebook has changed the algorithm and how it's going to be affecting you. So just give us a number two on there so that we know that you're watching this in post-production but i can also see that the live people are tuning in so i'm gonna segue to the live section of this video how are you doing robert how's it going ricky martin you guys are still having a weekend over there it's monday already from this end guys thank you so much for tuning in obviously this is yet another explosive episode of the lunch and learn and um, obviously, I really, really hope that you guys are all buckled into this one because I really want to make sure it's an explosive one where we're talking about the new Facebook algorithm. Yay! Great stuff. So let me know in the comments what you've been up to over the weekend and if anything has changed in your um, Facebook algorithm, I'll let this off. Now, Rick Martin says Sunday night and I'm placing ads. <laughs> My weekend has ended early. Great stuff. And Robert says, hi, Prosper. Things have gone really well this past weekend. Absolutely. Great to hear that side of you, Robert. You always positive and you're always um, you know excited about life obviously for those that are not familiar with who I am my name is Prosper Tarovinga and I viscerally believe that if you're running an online business it has to be profitable and it has to be enjoyable and I also believe that as an online business person you should be able to create for and relate to those you're gonna be demanding money off of so basically I teach a simple four-step process that is designed to help you capture the right kind of leads, get the right kind of content, convert your audience into paying customers, and also connect with that audience. I see Nicole has also tuned in. Nicole, I really hope you're doing fantastic. I mean, um, you did ask me a question a little bit earlier on, and I was just arming and ahhing and thinking, have, have we not discussed this? So that's the reason why I did not get into it. It's been a busy weekend for me. Steve Thompson, how's it going, my man? Thank you so much for tuning in. And I also really want to make sure that I'm helping you create um, you know, an online footprint that you can actually use to optimize your business for growth and profit. I see Amit has just tuned in and thank you so much for setting up your profile on the Australian Business Online Directory. And I see Stuart Adams is in the house. What's going on, brother? All right, so basically my job is simple. I help you to actually generate leads and generate revenue, basically working on your PR, your branding, and also doing stuff um, you know, that is designed to earn you more money with a less struggle. I just really go out there and inspire you to do things that actually inspire you, all right? So if you have been, oh, I don't know, if you're living under a rock, you must have heard... Um, you know, the recent announcement from Facebook, um, I think it was Thursday evening here in Australia, where he literally said, uh, I'm not quoting, but he literally declared that news feeds would be void of, um, I mean, the reach of pages content in the news feed is going to be lessened more and more and more. All right. So, you know, since then, I've received a lot of texts, emails, tags on Facebooks, um, and people actually asking me to chime in. And, um, you know, before, before we even start talking about it, I constantly talk about this. If you've got a message that is designed for a market, the media that you use to reach that market can always vary. Like this time around, Facebook is a media, has always been a media, so there's Basically and literally nothing to cry about if you've got a message and if you've got a market. But if you've got none of the above, then I'm sorry, you're going to feel the pain of what Mark Zuckerberg has decided, um, you know, to unleash onto, um, you know, people that are running businesses, right? So while people are tuning in and we're getting ready for the show, um, Robert says, I wish they would make up their mind. <laughs> Well, absolutely, their biggest customer is not the business person. Their biggest customer is the person that's using Facebook, the everyday person. So when businesses come in, when businesses, um, you know, um, you know, are advertising to the end user, it annoys them, and eventually they, um, you know, 
um, you know, you know, they, 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 they lose their attention and then Facebook literally does not have its biggest product, which is the usual user. Okay. I'll, I'm going to be diving into that. Um, as we go along, I just want to read what people are saying. Steve Thompson, how's it going, brother? He says, did you know that Facebook are not adding reviews to, um, your reviews if it's not added from your location of business, e.g.? from the restaurant gym etc can you clear us up on that obviously yes because at the end of the day steve thompson they really want to curate genuine content all right so you might ask your brother your sister your your father or your mother to put out that review and it might not be really stating or it might not be genuine regarding what your place of business actually is they want people that are actually experiencing your product they want people that are actually experiencing the gym to give a review as they are at the place without you having coxed them a little bit later on, which means that review is biased. So they are really going full force in making sure that the user experience of the everyday person is untainted by scrupulous, um, you know, business people that have been taking advantage and, um, you know, messing up the newsfeed. I mean, I'm one of those people that has been doing that. I'm one of those people that has been peddling content and information on, on, the, on, on, on people's newsfeeds. But if you have a message that is designed for a specific market, you are not being noisy or you're not being loud if that market is ready and willing and able to pay for your services or to listen to your, um, you know, to your um, whatever you've got to say. All right. Now, Steve also says, hmm, I understand that um, they cannot take the 132 star, five star reviews. No, I don't think anyone. Oh, has uh, have they have they taken out your reviews? Because you should also have a look, Steve Thompson. They have unpublished a lot of pages, so you want to make sure that your page is still published. You want to make sure that your reviews are still present. All right. So I I really want to say about this Facebook thing. Don't panic. All right. Don't panic. All right. Because just stay calm and carry on. Nothing has really changed, you know, your strategy today is the same as it was yesterday. Content still is king. So if you were not receiving audiences to your pages, if people were not liking your content yesterday, don't blame the change in algorithm because they were not receiving your content in the first place. All right. So nothing really has changed. It's just the media has decided to put, um, you know, a different twist to this whole thing. If people were not receiving your message before, don't expect them to be receiving it today, even if the algorithm has changed. All right. So Mark has just given us a big lesson in marketing right now, because a lot of people were putting up mediocre content out there and hoping that, you know, they were just spraying and praying and hoping that, you know, people would just like comment and share their stuff. So, you know, if, if it wasn't really good for them, they were not doing that in the first place. All right. And Rick says, I almost built a product that would service people's Facebook um, pages. Kind of glad I didn't. Exactly. If you're going to be building a business that is based on somebody else's platform, you've already lost. All right. Look at what happened when people were, were trying to create geo filters for Snapchat, etc., etc. You cannot base your your business on somebody else's platform, period. All right. Uh, Anna says Facebook is going to force us to get real, provide service with on this authenticity and integrity. Those that don't uh, won't be able to keep up. Absolutely. They are just course correcting. And I like this a part of where we're at right now because all the ancient businesses, and I say that with true most love and respect, all those people that were putting up mediocre content, they're going to feel the wrath. But if you have already, um, you know, brought together your audience, if you have already got a message, this is not going to be anything. It's not going to phase you at all because you were just using Facebook to draw out an audience that you were putting towards your blog, putting towards your services, etc., etc. So if your business was based solely on Facebook, then I'm really, really sorry this is happening. I'm really, really sorry you're not going to go through. But if you did not have a message that was going to a market, the media can always change. Let's take an example. Coca-Cola has been in existence for, say, over 100 years, even longer than that. 
What was their message before? Their message was open happiness. And how were they putting that message across? They were putting it across through the radio, through the Coca-Cola trucks, through, um, you know, newspapers, etc., etc. And when the media changed, what happened to them? They, they changed with the times as well. They went on to social media, they went on to Snapchat, Instagram, and now on Facebook. But now that Facebook has just, you know, flipped the, the script on everybody else, what are they going to do? They're still going to maintain their market. They're still going to maintain their message. So if you had not put any assets towards, you know, building your own audience, t trying to convey your story to your own audience, I'm afraid Facebook is not going to be helping you out. I mean, there is still other social media networks, but everyone really listens and follows through to what Facebook does. So guess what? This might be coming to every social media outlet out there. I'm not sure. I'm not certain this is going to be what it's going to be, but I know that a lot of businesses, you know, follow the, 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 the Facebook lead. All right. So like I'm saying, if you've got a message, if you've got a market, or if you've got a lot of money to hire people like me, you don't have to worry about what Facebook has just done. It's just a change of tactic. The strategy is still the same. All right? The strategy is still the same. You got to have a product that goes to a market. And that market has to be willing and able to pay for that product. If you did not have that and you were glazing through, you know, the social news feed, uh, I'm sorry, this is not going to happen for a very, very long time. I see Taf is just tuned in. What's going on, brother? And thank you so much for the support um, behind the scenes. All right. So when I was looking at Mark's, um, you know, uh, letter that he wrote, he was saying that um, even if a business page was doing super well in 2011, you know, only about 26% of their followers were actually seeing their posts. So today, if you're really looking at your organic reach, your average businesses that are actually featuring in news feeds was actually 1%. So you guys should have seen this coming a long time ago. And we also saw this coming a, a long time ago, you know. And um, um, Facebook says, can we still use Facebook to drive audiences to opt into our platforms? Well, absolutely. But guess what, Tough? Guess what is going to be happening? You now actually have to pay to be seen in the newsfeed. Unless you shift it like, like I did onto a personal profile, which now is organic to everybody else that's been following me. Because if you're going to try and utilize your private profile now, people will catch up on it. And there's an option that people can actually report that you're using your profile as a business page. So it's, it's going to be difficult for businesses to actually get traffic from Facebook. But this opens up a whole new area of things that have been in existence for quite a while. AdWords, SEO, all of those channels, you can still drive traffic to your website. You can still drive traffic to, um, you know, to your blog or to your content or to purchase from you. So... Having a Facebook business page right now is, yeah, good. It's a marketing tool. It was a way to distribute a message, just like any other medium. Now that it's not there, did you still have your content in other platforms that could actually help you reach your audience? You see, the only difference um, that was present, you know, with, with social media outlets like, um, like Facebook, Instagram, um, you know, and LinkedIn is that it gives customers so much, I mean, arguably so much um, content in their, in, in their newsfeed and they didn't know what to choose from. But the best part that's going to start happening is if you have your business in place, people will actually start seeking you out. All right. People will start seeking your business out if, if, if your messaging is right. And if your targeted market knows exactly, um, you know, who they're supposed to be reaching out to. Like I keep saying, guys, you need to have a message that goes to a specific market and the media can always change. You know, some people had built their businesses on Snapchat and Facebook ripped off, um, you know, all the things to do with uh, Snapchat. And now Facebook is cutting down on page reach. All right. What does that mean for you as a business person? Pretty much nothing because <coughs> they were not helping you out unless you were paying in the first place. All right. Now, Tav says, what are the costs involved with this new uh, regime? I haven't literally looked at it as much. 
But um, I know it's going to be pricey because everybody else is going to want uh, to be a part of it. And they now know the power, um, you know, that Facebook actually does have, um, you know, especially when it comes to reaching an audience. All right. So having a Facebook page now is now literally, it's now literally worth nothing. All right. Um, Mark Zuckerberg says, you know, the, 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 the Facebook news feed is now, what can I say? Um, Steve says, how will this affect Facebook groups with visibility in posts? Okay, so since everybody is not going to be, uh, this is just a prediction off of me. Um, and uh, yes, the views that I'm going to be putting out there, they're just my own thoughts. Um, Facebook groups are going to be present, but they're going to be clunky. Everybody else is going to be vying for that visibility. Everybody else is going to be, um, you know, vying for, um, you know, all those things that are now left out. Um, now literally worth noting. <laughs> Love it. All right. Um, at the end of the day, Facebook groups are going to be the only refuge that businesses now have. So there's also going to be competition for, um, you know, um, you know, for, 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 to be heard. But guess what's happening in Facebook groups? And that's the reason why I'm not participating in any Facebook groups. The people that are in Facebook groups are also business owners, people that would never purchase from you in the first place. So what you really want to do is start looking for outside um, platforms or creating a platform which is virtually yours. All right. We've created the online, um, the Australian business online directory, which is literally like a yellow pages, but four online businesses in Australia, all right? You're going to be able to put out your content on there. You're going to be able to actually put out a profile on there without worrying about, um, you know, changing of the algorithm, all right? So, I, I mean, we saw this coming and that's the reason why we created this platform. But if you're going to be still in the Facebook ecosystem, you really got to make sure you are on top of your content and your content is superb enough that your audience will actually come out seeking for you. All right. Because organic reach was already dead um, long before this announcement came in. So it, it, it was just a matter of time that they make it official. Now, Rick says, do you think it's applicable to use a Facebook page for a website substitute? Um, do you think there's any SEO juice in that kind of application? Not asking about engagement. All right. Obviously, when it comes to SEO, SEO is all about authority. Now, Facebook is still an authoritative, um, you know, platform. Um, there is a lot of SEO juice that comes from a page that you have, um, you know, sitting on Facebook. So if you're using it to garner traffic in other ways, not expecting it to trickle into people's newsfeed. Yes, you can still use it for that, all right? You, it can still be searched for, it can still be found, but don't expect it in the newsfeed where any other person who was not anticipating to meet your product or know about you was gonna find you. That was the good thing about the newsfeed. You can still be found on SEO, you can still be found on Google through your Facebook page, but don't expect to be found within the Facebook ecosystem organically unless you're paying for it. All right. So these changes were were started like last year. And that's when we started noticing that uh, Facebook, um, you know, its reach was going low and low and low. And most of their, their focus was now on making sure that the end user was actually getting a benefit. I can say by 2011, the pages that were actually reaching the newsfeed were about 26%. And by last year, 2017, only 1% of the pages were actually coming in through to the newsfeed. So this change is not, is not something new, but obviously people want to make a story out of it. You know why? Because yeah, it's, it's a significant change, um, you know, coming from Facebook itself. They even lost $3.3 billion after this announcement, all right? So you never know what else they're planning if they're willing to risk that much money, um, you know, for their own business. I mean, they're, 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 they're rich, they're bugged up, but you never know what, what, what else they, they, they're trying to come up with, okay? So, you know what, let's, let's, let's be realistic. Posting content on Facebook doesn't work for many businesses anyway. 
tell me when you actually got a client from Facebook through your organic, um, you know, um, endeavors. That ceased to be a thing. Um, that used to be a thing a long time ago. Because Facebook has since been penalizing businesses for years and they continuously do that. Content is king. People come to the internet to get information and a lot of us were just spraying and praying and not putting out quality content out there. All right. So the problem is not that many brands are no longer visible on Facebook. The problem is we were not putting out content, um, you know, in the first place, you know. So there's really no implication of, of this announcement. All right. Rick says they've invested heavily with video. Do you think pages with lots of video might still get newsfeed visibility? How fresh is the video though? Because I'm creating a video right now and it gets posted everywhere else. And then the more people watch it at, at whatever particular time, that's as much as, you know, I get airtime in people's news feeds. All right. You might have video from 2016. Facebook is not going to put you in priority. How fresh is that content? All right. So winners are always going to keep winning no matter what. All right. No matter what, no matter the change, no matter how it's going to happen, people that have always been winning are always going to be winning. You know, you know, I mean, even though there was this rollout and people are going to keep crying foul, it's 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 always going to be inevitable if you're building on somebody else's land. They can change the script on you. They can change um, how they want things done. So the best thing really is to make sure you've got your own base, your own blog, your own assets where you can bring people to. All right. You know, even even if they're rolling this out, you're going to be seeing less and less, um, you know, content from posts or from businesses that people were never interacting with anywhere. Can you tell me something? If your business is in mining, manufacturing, if you're a lawyer, if you're tools and equipment, gardening, what else? Uh, pharmaceutical, freight, if you're a bookstore or, you know, electricity supply or somebody who sells household uh, supplies. People were not even seeing those, that content um, in, in the news feed in the first place. You know what people were seeing? News personalities, um, you know, news um, sports teams, government officials, TV shows. You know why? Because people were conversing. People were making conversations about that content. Now, what does that mean for you as a, as a business person who's been jilted by Facebook? Start creating for and relating to the audience that you're going to be anticipating uh, to get money off of. So if you're not a TV show, or you're not a celebrity, you're not a university or you're not a comedian that is constantly putting out content that is engaging, inspiring, um, you know, uh, educating or, or providing value or positioning. Facebook had already fired you long before they even put out this announcement. So stop crying foul. What you really, really need is to take stock of what you've got. Have you got a message? Does it go to a specific market? How many other media channels are you using to reach that market with that message? That's all you've got to figure out. And I'm really, really happy that this has happened within our lifespan that we actually realize that we cannot put all our eggs in one basket. And if Facebook decides to yank the rug off of our feet, they can do whatever they feel like. As long as you know you've got your message that is going to a specific market. And if you don't have any of those, then you don't quite have a business. Because if you ask me in the last, say, um, four years, anybody that had track pants, anybody that had a laptop could start a Facebook page and be telling themselves they're in business. I'm really glad Mark Zuckerberg has taken out the rubbish and everybody else that's not meant to be doing this, making it harder and harder for us people that are putting in the work, doing the deed and, 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 you know, the, the, you know, the, 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 those people that were winning will always keep winning. Now, look at this. I've got platforms here and there. I've even created yet another platform for Australian business people so that you can actually get off of Facebook because it's not going to help you. It's only just going to frustrate you. So if you're in Australia and you haven't, um, you know, collected or uh, jumped onto the Australian business online directory, just type in DIR um, in the comments there. And after this, I will send you a link to the directory. DIR is short for directory. Okay. All right. So, you know, 
it's not any surprise. So if your business was not, you know, being seen before, this this shouldn't worry you. A lot of brand pages are not con conversational at all. Do you know what I mean? You're not like celebrities or you're not like sports teams that create conversations that now create the connection that Facebook is looking for. All right. So you are, you were not in the radar anyway. So stop hiding behind Mark Zuckerberg, um, you know, announcement. It had nothing to do with you because you never existed in any newsfeed in the first place. So brand pages that had boring stuff, you know, like appliances or household supplies or MLMs or whatever it is. Do you know what I mean? It's just one of those things. Um, Tough says, come on, prosper, take prosperity to the people in. No, I understand. I understand. At the end of the day, um, yeah, this, this, this is actually a really good, good thing for, for everybody else that's, um, you know, maybe starting off. Then you don't have to worry about, um, you know, utilizing Facebook, um, you know, as, as, as a station or as a hub. Yes, you can use it for traffic, but right about now, it's no longer useful. All right. So this is now an evolution of what people were used to. And I understand people hate change, but it is actually a really, really good, um, you know, place to be. If you can actually, um, you know, start creating your message so that this when it happens again, you are in a, in, a, in a good position to be, you know what I mean? So as I said right at the start of the show, if you are watching um, in truth, we don't really know what the overall impact will be. But as, as I've shown through most of the data that I'm putting out there, I believe there's no reason to panic. Um, I just think it's most, the most interesting aspect is, um, you know, Mark Zuckerberg on his letter is just to say, Facebook is becoming who they're actually supposed to be, the connecting platform, all right? So when they started, you know, they, they took away the actual connection in human beings. People would like things they literally don't care about. Um, people became friends with people that don't even know. So they want to bring back um, that, um, you know, connection back to people. And I think it's a, it's a really good move um, on his part. Uh, to course correct, but obviously it it comes as a as a as a as a um you know as a as a bad thing for business people that were used to using um you know Facebook as as their their you know lead generation position. So now I think there are now new rules to uh, to, to to social media marketing, and I think if you're going to be having a business that's profitable and enjoyable in 2018. You really, really got to be effective on your connections on Facebook. You really got to be creating for and relating to those that you're going to be demanding money off of. And um, content is now more valuable than ever. Either videos, pictures, um, you know, which, whichever way you, you, you're going to have to have a medium to transmit that message. So as a marketer that you are yourself, you really got to, develop some sort of competency in getting that content to the audience that will then change that um, and, 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 you know, instill a need for people to purchase from you. You know, um, there's going to be a need for you to actually uh, listen to what your audience wants and then create it for them. Um, an example of what we did by listening to the audience was create the uh, Australian Business Online Directory, which is literally designed for online business people in Australia to actually, um, you know, create for and relate to their audiences. Because we noticed people were no longer coming to Facebook to purchase stuff. They were coming to Facebook to see cat videos and also to connect with their um, relatives. So um, right now, if you really, really want to win, the only content that matters is the content that people are willing to engage with and share. So if you've got no idea what that content looks like, and if you are um, sort of finding it hard to penetrate the newsfeed, uh, send me a message. Let me see what you've got. Let me see where you're at. Let me see um, how this is going to affect you in the long run. Because if you're not reaching an audience, that means nobody has heard about you. And that means your business does not exist, all right? Um, you know, so... Uh, Facebook really wants people to waste time on the platform. So make sure your content really is engaging enough for people to want to 
want more from you. If not, they're just going to continuously ignore you like they've done before. And why would a person waste time with your content on Facebook? You know, so if you can't answer that question, then there will be no hope for you, um, you know, in the new Facebook marketing success. Um, like I said, we're here to help. We're here to um, make you, uh, you know, with all due respect, um, it's just the, it's just nature's way. Do you know what I mean? Eliminating those that were, I don't know what the word it is for, um, just eliminate, it's, it's survival of the fetus. Those that are actually putting out content that is needed and useful in the market are going to be winning. So in conclusion, um, I know I've butchered this topic because I've vested interest in what's happening and I've been looking at it. But um, I want you to stay calm and carry on. If you were not getting clients before this uh, change in the algorithm would mean nothing to you. Nothing has really changed. Your strategy today is still the same as it was yesterday. Content has to matter because people are coming to the internet to get information. And if you're not providing that information, then there's no way they're going to know you, like you and trust you. And there's no way they're going to do business with you. Facebook was just enabling us to reach an audience. They still going to be new platforms that are going to come through. We've created one for the Australian uh, uh, market. So if that's um, where you want to head, you know, in, in, in that sort of direction, um, type in DIR and I'll shoot you through, um, you know, a link to be a member on the Australian business online directory. So like I said, stay calm. I mean, changes like this are going to be happening everywhere. We are going to be going. It's just nature's way of, you know, course correcting. And, um, yeah, if, if you've been affected, you know, look at what you were doing before. Nothing has really changed. What has just changed is you've just been made to realize that your content did not matter in the first place. In the meantime, I wish you a fantastic week ahead. That's the start of the week. And um, yeah, obviously, you know, just keep creating for and relating to your audience um, if it actually matters. Now, Tav says, Abod is an amazing platform and the possibilities are endless. It's a people's flat platform. Absolutely. And that's the reason why we created it. And thank you so much for your help um, in putting it all together. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Bye for now.